Namaste. Instead of saying welcome. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, hey you. If you are new here, hey hey too. This is Love You More 555. This is gonna be a general collective message, which is probably most of the time. Um I'm gonna clear the energy cut on my protection. We're gonna get right into the cards. I am spiritually protected from all who wish me harm. I am physically protected from all ill will that may have a negative effect on my safety, health, and well-being. And so it is, so shall it be. I wish the same to those who come across my channel with love and light in your heart. Those with malignant energy, shoot, fly, shoot, fly, no bottom. Take that shit somewhere else, and I really do mean that's on my singing bow. Ladies and gents. Big bad boom. Let that marinate. All right. You see that bright old light I got? Big old windows in my living room, like from damn near about this much from the ceiling and about that much from the floor. So they're pretty tall. It's a lot of light. You may even hear kids outside. School is out. I just came from picking up my child. So <clears throat> let's get into this. And oh, yeah, I'm going to tell you something too. Most time you see me, I'm going to have on a white t shirt. Got yeah, different pants today. Great pants. I am very comfortable. I love white t shirts. You're probably going to see me in white t shirts a lot. I love white t shirts, especially 100% cotton. Same with draws. Good for your booty. Good for your body. Good for your skin. Anyway, let's go. Let's start off with tarot. I'm going to use this classic tarot deck. I always like to tell what I'm using because people like to collect cards even if they don't read them. And I have found myself, I said this before coming on people trying to like, what's that deck? And they will ignore the fuck out of you. That's just, that's just negative. Like, they can't tell nobody where you got a deck of cards from. I see the only person in the fucking world with the cards. <laughs> Probably the cards have been out forever. I just happened to see you with them. Like, you know, people weird. Last shuffle. Look at that. Look. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. A little three way cut. Ooh, that's upside down. Yeah, it is. Two of ones upside down. Glad I caught that. Must have turned it back up last time. Ace of Swords and then the top. Damn. So two of ones, the Ace of Swords, and then the tower. Somebody could be making a decision that's going to change their life. And not just their life, maybe others around them. Let me see. Really? Look what popped out. The two of wands, the ace of wands, the eight of wands, and then the knight of pentacles. So this could be somebody who's contemplating about giving somebody an offer. Um, rather this be a job. I just saw the king of cups or a love offer. Somebody want to work with somebody. Somebody want to be with somebody. Y'all find me bucking my eyes or look at my camera. Please don't judge me. I don't have my glasses on. And I'm just really, I'm really thinking about getting LASIK surgery. But I heard some drawbacks from it. But you know. Because I've been wearing glasses my whole life. Anyway, even on the back of my driver's license, say I need my damn glasses. What's up? Got the King of Wands. Mm. So the King of Wands is coming off the Queen of Wands. So this could be about some attraction. This could be about passion. This could be about action. This could be about somebody's strong desire. If I'm not mistaken, King of Wands is Aries as well, but I could be wrong. Okay, but this is fire energy. Somebody's looking at something. The way the King of Wands is facing, it's like he's looking at something at the past. It could be something with a Queen of Wands or somebody who he finds to be attractive, alluring, charismatic. This could be the person, this King of Wands could be the person who want to take a chance on somebody. It could be somebody from their past because the queen of wands is before the king of wands. The king is always the last in the suit. Because why he's masculine, he's the protector. He's like the protector of that suit. I'll explain it to y'all another way. That way and another way, like another time. But this could be somebody who's about to take action on something. The king of wands in a high vibration is a leader. Could be walking away from something to go back to something from their past or try to reconcile with somebody from their past. We have the three of swords in reverse. It came out upright and it spent before I caught it falling off the table. Try to fall off the table. 
This could be someone who's stuck in heartbreak. The three of swords in the upright is somebody who is, yes, they're heartbroken. Yes, they've been through some pain, but they're working on that pain because the four of swords is next. In reverse, this is someone who's stuck in heartbreak, misery, despair. This is somebody who's dealing with a lot of pain and they don't know how to transmute it. Could be this king of wands. They could be missing somebody from their past, the moon. This King of Wands could be a Cancer or Pisces too, or this King of Wands has had some type of realization when it comes to their emotions, how they feel, okay? They could be acknowledging that they're heartbroken over somebody from their past. Again, it could be a Queen of Wands. It could be anybody though, but like I said, this Queen, this I said Queen, this King of Wands don't have to be uh, a fire sign. They could be an air sign. They also can be a Cancer or Pisces with this moon energy here. It's like they've had some type of realization about some their emotions, how they feel, how they truly feel. I feel like this is somebody who's been keeping something to themselves for a long time, but it's like whatever this three of swords is, they stuck in and they can't move on from. It's like, um, it's like, hold, hold on, hold on, y'all. Mm. I pause. All right, my blink, but what is this? We are at six minutes again. Okay. I had to put a little something on my hands. I'm like, I hope I got some oil to hand because I don't buy lotion stuff. Like that. I make my own whipped butter. I make my own oil. I used to work in a place where, you know, my hands just crap a lot. I didn't have carpet tunnel, but I started making rosemary oil and it works pretty good. So, let's go. This could be a Sagittarius. This could be someone who wants to... Um, I hope y'all saw that before I pause the camera. But this could be someone who wants to make amends. They want to heal something with someone. And this person has a lot of pain in their heart. I feel like this is someone who could possibly have repressed their emotions for another for a long time. And now they... they it's like whatever's going around them too. They got to sit in this. Maybe this is someone, you know, like a fire sign. Normally people who are very active, charismatic the life of the party type of energy this maybe this person used to go 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 and maybe they can't go anymore maybe they can't get any more supply from people too hey take it like that but this could be someone who wants to heal something with somebody what else magician they're trying to manifest possibly a second chance with somebody or manifest a way up out of this somebody's in deep 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 sorrow the three of swords in reverse with the moon. Somebody's in deep sorrow. Somebody's emotions has overtaken them. This also could be somebody because they're in pain. This could be somebody now. I'm reading it that way. Somebody could be being nasty towards somebody from their past. Or trying to do something like manipulate something. The energy around somebody from their past because they're in pain as well. Ace of Wands. They're trying to manifest a new beginning with somebody. It could be something more or less sexual. Then, like, if the Ace of Cups would have came out, that I'd be like, okay, uh, Ace of Pentacles, I'd be like, uh, oh, Ace, even the Ace of Swords, I'd be like, oh, they want to tell you the truth. This could be someone who, you know, is passion. Like, this could be passion driven. This could be someone who's lustful. This could be someone who feels like if they get connected back to somebody in a sexual way, it's going to heal their heartbreak. But this person not understanding that this is something they got to face. I feel like with the moon and the upright, this is being shown to this person. That they got to sit with their emotion. They got to deal with whatever they got going on. They have to heal. They could be trying to bypass doing the work and trying to use magic to get what they want. It ain't going to work out for them. Four swords. Yeah, this person want peace. <laughs> they want rest. This person may be very restless with the three of swords. This person could be very restless and unbalanced too. Eight of Cups. Huh. They trying to manifest something that either they walked away from or somebody that walked away from them. They trying to manifest another chance with somebody. The Sun. This could be a Leo. Or they could be trying to manifest something with a Leo. They want a new start with somebody. A new beginning. They want to start over. They want to start from scratch because this child on this Sun card is new. It's just like... When some someone shows up new, this is this is someone who's not hiding anything. They, they you know they just wanna they wanna expose themselves. But this may be with at a drawback. This may not be something genuine. Queen of Cups. They definitely could have emotions for somebody. Up the lovers. Like I said, this could be a water sign. 
or they could be going off the water side. Oh, there's a queen of cups that freed herself. And as she freed herself, she became the empress. Yeah, four of cups. She could have rejected this stressful situation. She could have moved forward. The will of fortune. Yeah, she could have. Yeah, somebody could have healed and learned their lesson with the devil in the towel here. Somebody could have learned their lesson in a karmic situation and they moved forward. And this king of wands could be all in his emotions about this connection. They're trying to get back with somebody. Hold on, let me look for another deck. I have quite a few. I'll take you right here. We're going to use this rose gold for uh, tarot deck. Let me get all these cards up out here. I normally shuffle my cards, but I put them back in the box. Ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck coming out the uh, box. This could be someone who's trying to get their family back as well. What is this? The death card. There's somebody who's trying to... Bring a rebirth to a situation. Somebody could want their family back. Somebody could want to be with somebody. They now could be in the, in the energy where, oh, I love you. But I feel like, again, with the Ace of Wands showing up, this is just something sexual. Because if you look at this middle row, you got the Three of Swords in reverse. That's somebody who's stuck, stagnant. First of all, their heart chakra is completely blocked. So it is like it's, they really can't feel nothing this deep. The Queen of Cups is somebody who's very sensitive, emotional, caring. She, like, exudes unconditional love. So this person may not be able to do any of that. They may just miss the way you love them, the way you treated them. This also somebody with the magicians could be somebody very manipulative. And with the Eight of Cups here, this is somebody who's emotionally disconnected. This person don't feel things. This is, <laughs> that's why I said in the beginning, somebody have to sit with something. Somebody got to sit with their emotions. That's what this is. There's a King of Wands, no matter what the sign, King of Wands energy that needs to sit with their emotion. They need to do some healing work. But they're not trying to do that. They're trying to manifest possibly a second chance with somebody from their past. Somebody that they maybe realize that they actually care about. But I, 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 I don't even want to use the word love with the Three of Swords in reverse, the Magician and the Eight of Cups. Whoever this is, they could have walked away from this person because of this type of energy. Somebody could have been very manipulative, a trickster. They hard was closed. They was emotionally disconnected. Their relationship could have been really tumultuous, like toxic, abusive. Give me this King of Wands. Nine of Swords. This King of Wands stressed the fuck out. It's only two. Yeah, it's only two. The High Priestess and the Page of Cups. It could be about a Pisces. Okay, this is somebody also could be stressed out because the page of cups can be like romantic messages, but it also can be intuitive dreams, intuitive communication, communication between you and your ancestors. The page of cups is a, a dreamy energy. Somebody could be dreaming about somebody. Somebody could be dreaming about a high priestess or somebody higher self could be kicking their ass. Okay. <laughs> With the, the high priestess, the page of cups and the nine of swords. Also, um, somebody intuition, somebody higher self could be telling them to come towards somebody and apologize to make amends. Not necessarily going to free them from this three of swords in reverse, but it may help them, you know, get on their healing path. So this could be someone who's trying to manifest a conversation with somebody. Okay, they want to go back and forth. They want to express emotions. They could be guided. They could be getting guided to do this. Somebody could be telling this person in you know, the universe. God could be telling this person to, you know, hey, come make amends. But it's not necessary for them to be in a relationship with you. But they definitely may need to apologize to you. I feel like it's for this three of swords, magician, eight of cups energy. Somebody could have, look, they got a magician again. Somebody could, this could be a Gemini as well. Somebody could have been real nasty towards you, really disconnected. Give me the three of swords in reverse. We have the page of swords, and they're watching. Whoever this is, they want to make amends with, they're watching. Could be obsessively, because the nine of swords is obsession. The nine of swords can be insomnia. The nine of swords is overwhelmed, overthinking, overanalyzing. Ten of Pentacles, there you go. They, it's like they want to make amends, like they want their family back with somebody. They want to start over with someone. They want a, another chance. And they could be confusing. Mm. They could want another chance with the star. They could want another chance with someone who they view as they wish fulfillment. 
Okay, this person is trying to like manifest miracles to happen between them and this situation. Somebody definitely could be trying to make amends with somebody from their past. They want they want a second chance. Or for some of y'all, maybe they thousands chance or they hundred chance. You could have gave somebody a lot of chances. In this moon, there's the five of swords. There's a lot of conflict within this person. Person could be very defensive towards other people as well. They could be going through a lot with people around them. Because of this three of swords in reverse that they refusing to work on. And it's like they could also be getting told to, you know, to work on their self. Work on their self. And maybe they could possibly come towards the person and, you know, start something new. Look, they came out again. Look, King of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. This is who this is. They want to invest in something. I feel like they want to invest in somebody from the past. Somebody that they could have walked away from or they could have walked away from them. The magician, eight of wands. They're trying to manifest communication with this past person. Seven of cups, but look, it's look, it's a, it's an illusion. It is this person has an agenda. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The magician, the eight of swords, and then the seven of wands. This is someone who wants you to let your guard down so they can get you stuck again. That's it. Somebody, the eight of wands, it's like they want to communicate with somebody, but they want to communicate untruthfully. This is somebody who wants to like spread some type of illusion, like try to manipulate your mind, play games with you by way of communication. Wands is fire energy. Again, somebody intuition could be blocked, or they could have somebody who's telling them, like, hey, you know, you need to apologize. And again, apologizing may be the kickoff, the start to this healing journey that this King of Wands need to go on. This could take years for this person to actually get up out of whatever this is they in. And neither one needs to flop over, so. Give me one more. Four of Cups. This person feels rejected. I feel like this person really wants you to, you know, like give them another chance. They don't want you to reject them. This is somebody who wants to offer you their cup and they don't want to get rejected. But it's like, when they start out, they looking at the past, it's like they realizing that, like, hey, first of all, you could have moved on. You could be going through some type of glow, some type of expansion in your life, and this is what could be pulling this person towards you. Somebody coming in with some type of offer, but it's but it's trash. It's not legit. It's not, it's not true. Give me the Eight of Cups. Ooh. We have the Strength card, Leo Energy again. This is somebody who's trying to persevere. Damn. Queen of Swords in reverse. This is somebody who's bitter, angry, upset. Or you can be somebody who's in this Queen of Swords in reverse energy towards this person. It's like you ain't even... It's like don't come near me. <laughs> don't come fucking near me. I don't want to talk to you. I don't be, I want to be around you. I don't know what they did. But you could be in this Queen of Swords in reverse energy with this person. Or this is someone who's like downright... Look, they go to the devil. This is somebody who's downright toxic. Hangman. The hangman and the upright is not a bad thing, per se. But I feel like in this case, this is somebody who want to get you stuck. Yeah, there's somebody who want to get you stuck. That's like, uh, what is that word? Nefarious. Like somebody got nefarious plans for you. They got a magician pop on back around again. This could be someone. See time. This could be someone who's doing magic. Mm-hmm. Why is this four of swords here? Mm, page of ones. Oh, go back in there. What is this? Ten of ones. <sighs> this is somebody who's going through it. Somebody who's overwhelmed. Another thing they could be trying to reconcile with somebody for they wanna they wanna put some burdens back on somebody. It's like somebody again, who whatever you could be any sign, any one through twelve. Okay, you could be any sign. Somebody wants you in this queen of swords in reverse. Like somebody you could have healed from this person. Definitely here. Somebody wants to like lay their burdens down on you. That's what this is. Somebody want to bring their trouble to your doorstep. Somebody wants you to feel their unrest, their unhappiness, their bitterness, their unhealed energy. Because the last card is the sun. 
it's like you could be in this energy where you heal from a situation and somebody wants you stuck because they're stuck. And look what popped over. If I can grab it, the Eight of Swords. Somebody wants you stuck because they, they don't got no rest. No rest for the wicked. Some, somebody want peace in their life and they don't got none. And they want you to have the same thing because you could be, look, justice in the emperor. I'm not going to take neither one. Somebody could come in also acting like they changed. It's like you could be in this queen of cups, lover's energy, nine of pentacles. I'm telling you, something could be going on with your money or your status, your glow up. You, it could be showing. And it's like... With the Queen of Cups being here, such nurturing, loving energy with the lovers. The Queen of Cups and the lovers, it's in the upright too. You're very loving, nurturing, caring. You exude unconditional love. It could be like energy supply that this person is looking for. Knight of Swords. And look, they're going to come in fast. This could be happening soon. Because Swords is days. Somebody could be coming in in the next 10 days. Okay? And this Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands. And nah, give me the sun. Ooh, Ten of Cups, Page of Pentacles. You can already be in a relationship or you can have a new offer coming. This person, again, like I said, somebody want their family back. They want to plant new seeds. Somebody want the Ten of Cups, or at least they want the Ten of Cups back. I don't feel like they offering anything with the Queen of Swords coming out in reverse with the hangman and the strength. It's like this person trying to make this happen, but it's like it's not meant. They're going to Nine of Pentacles again. Mm-mm. No, I feel like you're somebody who's really having it good. You could be financially stable. Nine of Pentacles is pre-Empress energy as well. So you could be somebody who your energy could be very potent, very powerful. It could hit different. Maybe this person can't find nobody else like you. Okay. Somebody definitely want to come try to offer something. They want to work together. But it's like, too, normally every time I see the three of Pentacles on my table, I think about you, your person, and source. Like God. In this case, I feel like this is someone who possibly got another person already or got somebody in the background. Or this could be the reason why y'all parted ways. This, this person always keeping another person. Or again, when this person comes towards you, they're going to have somebody. They're going to have somebody already. Yeah, they is. Two. Three of pentacles, two of pentacles. What is that? That's the five of pentacles. This person could be in lack. And they also, they going to juggle. This, whoever this is coming in, they are going to juggle. Four ones, it's like, you could be very stable. Queen of, yeah, you could be stable. You could be the mother of this person's children. This could be your ex-husband, okay? The son again. <laughs> that called the son. Yeah. It's like you could be really experiencing some type of upswing. Ooh. You know, shit, the universe could be shining on you right now. God could be favoring you. Eight of Pentacles, it could be something that you're doing with work that you're showing. Like everybody see you. Magician, something that you're using your skills for, your energy, everything. So air, water, fire, earth, and spirit. You're using all five elements right now because that's all five elements that's in this magician card. You got the chariot here, victory. You could definitely be having victory in your life. And also, like I said, you could be in another relationship. Or this person is another is in another relationship. They got somebody already. Six of Cups. There's somebody from the past. Okay? Six of Swords that you moved on from. <laughs> Two of Swords. Let me see this first. Seven of Swords. See? Two of Swords and the Seven of Swords is the Nine of Swords. This is somebody who wants you stressed out and blocked. Yeah. And sad. Not of ones. Somebody want to have like an encounter with you, a sexual encounter. Somebody want to come in acting like, look, you got the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Damn, what I'm doing? Can, Y'all can't see that. I got to show you this. Knight of Cups and the Knight of, Knight of Wands. You know, it depends on the car surrounding it. it. You know, there may not be bad energy like people always say, but with this, with the Five of Pencils coming out right behind it, this is somebody who's coming in to love mom you, to lie to you, to have some type of passionate sex with you, and they're going to go on about their business. There's somebody who probably do this often. Yeah. And this also could be someone who's very jealous. Somebody who like to fight and argue. And again, somebody who's emotionally disconnected. Knight of Pentacles. What is this? And the Four of Pentacles. If you already got somebody, stick to your person. If you already in a long-term contract, stick to your person. There's abundance there. 
it, there's a relationship that you need to protect. This four of pentacles is giving me like, you know, you need to protect what you already have with the nine of, with the knight of pentacles. You have the seven of wands and the three of cups. Like I said, if you with somebody, you need to protect that relationship. You may need to protect it from whoever this king of wands is. Cause they, they could be trying to do magic over their relationship as well. With the three of pentacles too, now I'm looking that you could be in um, union with your person. You can be living with this person, dating this person. You, this definitely could be somebody that you're about to go into some type of maybe higher level of commitment with the three of pentacles. I feel like with the three of pentacles in terms of a relationship, this is like... You know how the traditional card, this is like God blessing both of y'all, blessing the relationship. You could be in a blessed connection that somebody wants you to fuck up. They want you to lay it to rest, to, to come towards them for what? So they can tennis swords your ass, okay? So they can tennis swords you. Look, the world, the tower, and then the queen of cups. Somebody want, somebody, somebody wants you to give them a chance so they can tennis swords you. They don't want to do right by you. They do not. Mm. What time we at? 25.52? Ooh, that's mirroring numbers. 25.52. I put all my oracle cards in here. Let's see. Let me just grab a pal. Come on, give me a pal. I'm going to read off of them. Let's see. I'm going to take them. All right. So the first thing we have is Missouri. August 10th. So that is Leo energy. Big Leo energy out here. Okay. Their state motto is Salus Populi Suprema uh, Lex Esto Estoy. It's a let the good of the people be supreme law. The welfare of the people shall be supreme law. So your welfare is of importance to supreme law. Supreme law will be the universe to me. So it's like your existence. You're important. That's another reason why this person could be coming towards. I'm telling you, I feel like it's for like energy supply. Somebody, somebody want to change your life, but for the worst, like for the bad. Cause they're coming in as like a knight of wands, a knight of cups. They're not coming in as a king of cups or a, you know the king of wands did come out first. How long? Yeah, it did. But I feel like this is just them wanting to take action. It says sometimes it hurts more to hold on. It's peace and letting go. Burn that bridge. Fuck them. This is, this is somebody that you probably cut off and there's a bridge that's been burnt or broken and there's no need to. You see my little bridge right there, y'all. Don't, don't laugh my jar. But there's a bridge that's been burnt between you and this person. There's a need for you to let this go. Fuck this person. There's no need to reconcile with this person. We have 555. Y'all know that's my number. Spiritual meaning represents transition, freedom, and adventure, change, forward movement, and excitement. Angels are trying to tell you to welcome any changes coming your way, but not to force them. Love meaning the connection of soulmates, no matter if they get to meet in their life or not. A new love interest is going to enter your life. So again, if you're not with somebody, I said you could be with somebody. If you're not with somebody, there is a connection coming in for you that's going to change you. In a positive way. Somebody could be Native American descent. Somebody could be a homebody. Very private. Minds his or her own business. Lone wolf. Keeps a small circle. That could be your energy. Somebody may have blonde hair. There's somebody here. You know, for some of y'all, like I said, if somebody comes towards you, they got somebody already. So whoever this is they dealing with, they can be in secret competition with. It's say like they're in competition with themselves. So whoever this is that's dealing with somebody that you used to deal with, Okay, uh, they're in competition with you, but they can't compare because why? You got the it factor. Something could be going on with your career right now where you're being shown or there's a light being shown on you or something being highlighted about you. And it's king of ones, they see it. They know. They know you got the it factor. Sexy, bold, and confident. Didn't I tell you you could be a, uh, like the queen of ones energy? Leo, they come out a lot. Financial abundance coming in very soon. I feel like this attached to your work. It's divine inheritance, windfall, lucky break. So some type, of, some type of windfall or lucky break of some sort is coming in. Okay. It could be coming in next summer. Or something could have happened with you this summer. Because we just barely got out of summer. Like, it's just barely ended. Okay. It's a time of harvest. The world is filled with abundance. Time to enjoy the fruits of our labor. So... And the summertime, you could have came into some type of, uh, you could have got a windfall, you, some, your luck could have changed, something could have happened with you in a positive way, hard chakra attacks. Then I tell you that somebody could be doing something, if you with somebody, 
And even if you're not, somebody is trying to attack your heart chakra because they want you blocked like they is. They don't know how to deal with emotion. This person cannot feel things because they're blocked. They don't know. They don't even know how to begin the healing journey. They don't even know what to look at because this person may have a lot of demons. Okay, but they know it because the moon is upright, so they know it. It's just like instead of them doing the work, they just want to come suck up off of you, ride your coattail confirmation enjoy whatever you got going on it said your balance and intimacy in relationships your devotion to self your compassion and empathy towards other this person want to change how you i told you i told you somebody wants you with a queen of swords in reverse somebody wants somebody wants you completely blocked off to any other options or being open to any other relationships this is someone that I don't know how long you left this person or they left you, but this is somebody who probably been watching you the whole time. This is somebody here who wants you all oh, discombobulated. Now we have Oregon here. This is Aquarius energy. It was established in Aquarius season. It say they state model is she flies with her own wings. So you somebody who's standing on your own. You're independent. And I'm telling you, nine of pentacles showed up twice. You somebody who may be very financially stable. And your energy with the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, your energy could be different. You did come out as the Empress too as well. So you embody all four queens. But somebody wants you, instead of you being logical, smart, self-aware, your discernment being at all time, that sword that the Queen of Swords will and the King of Swords is that sword of truth, justice, and discernment. Because they see she, you can't play with the Queen of Swords. She ain't stupid. Somebody wants you to be stupid. Somebody want to be able to like manipulate your mind or play with you. To make you think they're going to offer you something. This person is very nervous that something that they're doing is not working. Maybe it worked before. What a tangled web we weave when we plan to deceive. It's a trapped in the chaos they set for you. So somebody could have been doing something to you. I told you somebody coming in with a seven of cups. They want to... Somebody wants you in some type of illusion. Maybe you freeze yourself from something. They want you back up on you. could have been. Hey, they could have had their foot on your neck. Spiritually, somebody could have had their foot on your neck. It ain't on that no more. Okay? They've seen you naked, perv. This person could be watching you, stalking you. Maybe they have been able to get into your house. Okay? You may need to check that. Somebody keep us. Uh, now we have Native American roots. Now we have Black Amer Black Native American. Lord, get up. Get away from here. <laughs> we have Black African American descent. Somebody could be Black. Somebody could be um, Native American. K. Sarah. Sarah. Whatever will be, will be. Let it ride. This is somebody who's about to take a chance, too. They like, they don't care. They're going to take this chance. Somebody going to come towards you very boldly. They're going to come towards you with the Knight of Swords. So let me tell you that's going to go. Somebody's going to come in for a, often like a page of cups, but it's attached to the Nine of Swords. This person is still stressed out. They're blocked. They're unhappy. They're miserable. But they're going to come in acting like they want to have a conversation with you. And as soon as things don't go their way, this person may get violent. The Nine of Swords can be a violent energy. Somebody who likes to argue, talk shit. Somebody who run their mouth. Somebody who could be very combative and defensive towards other. Somebody who always feel like you're attacking them too. Nine the Swords with the Page of Swords as well can be somebody who's a gossiper. March 15th, this is Pisces energy. Their state motto is, I direct or I guide. You could be uh, getting directed and guided by the universe, or you could be some type of guide. Court case going in your favor. If you have any court proceedings with this person of any kind, it's going to go in your favor. Whoever this is, they're a toxic father figure. Bad person, role model, bad parent. These This pile of cards I put go right with this <laughs> and there's a lot of cars in there like old 400 cars in there maybe more we have scorpio here the death card judgment the tower i desire sexual energy darkness transformative energy intensity mystery attraction passion sudden shift there's about to be a sudden shift in your life okay you could be a Scorpio. This could be a Scorpio. You could be a Gemini. This could be a Gemini, okay? Magician, the lovers. I know communication, duality, inquisitive nature, dual nature. So somebody who's, I often say apodex, that's two hands. Somebody who works with both, uh, somebody use their left and their right, little. Somebody use their left and their right brain simultaneously. Somebody access both sides of their brain. They're not just stuck in one. Somebody who's really smart. This Queen of Swords, you could be a Gemini. You may have Scorpio placements as well. Take away red that somebody also can have Leo placement. It say this karma cycle is over with this fool. What I say? 
Okay? It say they need to move on. Whoever this is, they need to go on and move on about their business. It could be the uh, the magician did come out a couple of times, so this could be a Gemini. It say what they hate in you is missing in them. Keep shining your light. Okay? I told you, you shine. It's like a light on you right now. Why? Because you could be some type of healer, alchemist healer. It says you're a powerful manifester. You have the power to transmute energy of all kinds to utilize to your advantage. So it could have been like this person sending you some shit and you kept transmuting it. Maybe they was able to bump you down a little bit or maybe maybe make some little mishaps in your life. But whatever, for the most part, you ate all this shit. Everything they sent to you, you was eating it, transmuting it. Now you could be prosperous, you could be shining, you could be glowing, and they see it. They have bad habits, they refuse to change. This is somebody who would never change. And somebody here may have a small booty. Look, somebody have a small booty. What time is? Let me get a free mom. Let's get a free mom. Mm, did something fall? See y'all. Trying to see with my fingers. When my fingers get stuck, that's why I'm putting it. Ah, they got stuck right there. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Could be playing up at. Ooh. Somebody here, you could be with child. Or if not, you're about to be with child. We have men ass. Mankind. You're somebody here who's here. You're here to help the world. You could have a prophecy of your life. Mankind, assessment, decisions, community. Um, you know, you could be someone who's meant to have strong ties to, to the community, to the universe, to, to people. Okay? We see the world, so the world wide web. Some could be um, online with you. Or there's something that you could be meant to do. Right? It say they know how. Hold on. They now know how or why things went wrong. They know it was them. I'm going to read this last. We have 444, triple number time. It's not the angel number 444. It's the time. You could be saying 444 on the clock. I've been saying a lot lately, personally, okay? It says, your guardian angels want you to know that they are with you. Your prayers are being heard loud and clear. Have faith. It is a re it's a reminder that you are in good health, focused, sincere, and on the path to success. You ain't going to worry. And then look right here, Archangel Camuel. Love and relationships. This is Taurus. Okay. It say the loving one, angel of the heart. Somebody heart chakra's blocked. Yours is not. Cameo pure love helps release sorrow from your heart and guides you towards forming open hearted and balanced relationships. This angel helps to attract romance and helps to resolve issues with loved ones. Call upon Camuel. To open your heart chakra and release any misunderstandings, hurts, or rejections. Maybe you did this. They need to do this. Okay? It says she will infuse all your relationships with perfect, unconditional love to dissolve any stubborn, lower energies and emotions. Okay? So, Archangel Camilla could have worked with your heart chakra. Um, whoever this is, they may need to call on Archangel Camilla. Over here. Taurus. We just saw Taurus. So some of y'all, you could be a Taurus. So, you know, they said a new, new relationship could be coming in. It's, it did come out with the 444. Somebody could have a Taurus coming towards them. This could be your faded person. Okay, whoever this Taurus is. Jupiter here. Jupiter is the pattern of luck, expansion, growth, happiness, joy, prosperity. Dharma. Did I say good fortune? Did I say good luck? <laughs> so you can have a Taurus or somebody with a a Jupiter Taurus placement could be coming in. Okay. Jupiter is also Pisces and Sagittarius. We have Scorpio. Scorpio did come out. We have air and if it popped out reverse. So we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So we have Aquarius Libra Gemini. Gemini did come out. We have Capricorn here. We have Libra. And last but not least, we have Cancer. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have Neptune. Pisces again. Let's see. All right. Heal yourself, Oracle deck, with Archangel Therapy Oracle deck. Okay. What time is it? 39, 
take that because I didn't want to go back in. Courage. Somebody needs to shine a light on their demons, okay? We have leadership. Archangel Gabriel. It is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. Then I tell you, you may be a guide. Yeah, I'm smiling because you may be a guide. This could be what this also with the moon here. This could be what's being shown to this king of wands that you're some type of earth angel. You're, matter of fact, if you're a guy, you're ascended master. This could be something that's being shown to this king of wands spiritually. For some of y'all, I don't say that lightly. A king of wands could have had their foot on your neck spiritually. They could have been fucking with you for a long time. You're free. Beauty. Didn't I tell you somebody found you to be attractive? 17 breaks down to an 8. You could be very abundant right now. You can have a lot of beautiful energy around you. They, they know it. They see it. Have faith. 22. Master teacher. Well, I'm a number 11. I'm a master number 11. And my life path is a number 9. And my three signs. And my star sign, I'm Aquarius. So it's my sun sign. So I mean, I show up as the star. And my moon is Libra. So that means I am justice. I'm the empress. And my rising is Gemini. That means I show up as the magician and the lover. Shit, that combination right there, you can't play with that. You ain't getting shit over on a person like me. Well, at least now that I'm actually completely woke. But, you know, yeah. And my personality, your rising sign is your personality. Your moon is your emotions. Your star sign is your identity. I am a healer. Every Aquarius is not a healer. Not a healer. I'm pretty sure a lot of them is, but every Aquarius is not a healer. Um, also, every Libra is not an empress. Just saying. I don't claim that empress, high priest, and all that other shit too much. I say spiritual teacher, and I am one. Okay, comfort. Archangel Azrael, I am with you in, in your time of need, helping you, helping your heart to heal. So you definitely could have went through some powerful healing. Teaching and learning, Archangel Zachiel, keep an open mind and learn new ideas, then teach these ideas to others. You're some type of spiritual teacher. You're some type of guide. That's why this King of Wands is going through this type of misery right here. That's why they're going through it, because they could have been coming up against you for a long time. And God, like, you know, your reign of terror is over with. Anything else? I think that's it, y'all. Oh. Hold in the soul. This is a soulless person. And they go that nine again. That nine of sword. This ain't nothing but the... It ain't no other nine. This the nine of sword. This person is stressed the fuck out. Because somebody literally had they foot on your neck spiritually. Somebody been doing something to you for a long time. And they can't anymore. And they could be really stressing them out too. So they like, damn, what am I supposed to do? So they're going to come towards you. Mm -hmm. This is a very prideful, arrogant person. All right? Number seven. Seven of Swords. Deceitful. Somebody deceitful. We have sexuality, number four. Somebody want their family back. Somebody want, a, somebody want like a four ones, but they want like a sexual union. They don't want to commit to you because whoever they said they got somebody in the background. Even if it's like a Leo, they get Leo did not come out. They got somebody in the background. Whoever this is trying to come towards you, they have another person already. Family and tribe, number 20. Somebody want their family back. Or again, this person already got a family and a tribe. They own the situation going on, but they also want to have you included. Maybe this was like one of them things where somebody got like, um, I don't say this funny. I ain't, I ain't trying to be funny, but somebody may have like a harem of women, a lot of different women. Maybe at one point you was a part of that rotation. You could have freed yourself from this situation. And this person is trying to get you right back on. Like they trying to get you back on a leash. It's like even if you weren't with this person, like I said, they, they still kept some type of like cord on you, some type of leash, so they can control things from a distance. They can't control anything anymore, and this is stressing this person out. Soulmate. Number 14. 14 could be significant, but this breaks down to a five. There's some change coming. See, this person here, they're not even with you. They're in spirit. Thank you, God. Spiritually, this person been holding on to you. You see that ghost holding this woman? This is somebody who's been trying to hold you back spiritually. 
This is somebody who had a tight grip on you to the universe, probably chopped their fucking hands off and told them to go about their business. Probably let them do it for a little bit. Maybe y'all have some past life, past life karma to pay back with the six of cups. So the devil twice. You know, in Capricorn here again, devil energy. You know, maybe y'all have something y'all have to deal with, you know, maybe at one time, at one point in this particular situation, this journey, this separation, whatever. But now it's time for you to be free. This is someone who's been holding on to you spiritually. This man is a damn ghost. You see that? This is somebody who's been blocking you spiritually for a long time. Phoenix rising. 32. Another change. Okay, with that five here. This is somebody who's been doing this repeatedly. Somebody may be into a lot of, uh, you know, dark shit. They may have like a, a book, a dark book or something like that they go to. Or they go to somebody who is into energy manipulation. Maybe spells. Bam. This woman have a, like a beautiful pendant around her neck. But it look like a cross with like a four leaf clove. I don't know what the fuck that is. But you see how she's playing with that energy? How her hand is going through that wave of energy? There's somebody who's been manipulating things around you for a long time. Where we at? 4553. By the way, the one more second had been 45, 54, another mirror. And um, this could be somebody too. For some of y'all, this could have been your person. But they failed their mission. They refused to heal. With the Eight of Cups coming out in their energy, this is somebody who's emotionally disconnected because they're hard blocked. They came out of Three of Swords in reverse. All right? What else here? We have Patience. Another five. That's five, five, five so far. Patience. All you need to do is be patient right now. Things are working out in your favor. All right? You ain't got to worry about nothing. Um, also, I just, so I said, put that card down. I also heard you've been patient for a long time. You about to get your just due. You about to get blessed for dealing with this. This could have been some type of karmic contract that you have to deal with. Like, this person was able to hold on to you all this time energetically with that card. I want to keep that right here. I want you to understand that you're being free from whoever this is. This is a masculine. They've been holding on to you very tightly, energetically, but they got to let you go now. What I'm getting here is you have, you have like, ranked up. You've leveled up. You've healed too much. You've too much up here. You're not... You know, you're in the world, but you're not of the world, okay? You didn't already ascended too high up for this person. They can't do whatever they was doing anymore. 27, that's another nine, right? Nine of swords. Your ancestors could be kicking this person ass, okay? It says help from above. You're getting help from above. You're being protected, you know, from this fool. Alchemy. Did I tell you you could be an alchemist? 25. 25 could be significant. They go another seven. More about that seven of swords. Trying to manipulate your energy, things around you to keep you stuck. 28. Love. This is a completion with love. This could have been somebody at one point that you loved. Deeply, my, may I add? But it's like it's time to release this. You see here again. Look at that man in the fucking picture looking at her. It's like this person has been like a monitoring spirit to you spiritually. They've been following you, holding on to you, blocking things around you spiritually. They've been doing this. Physically, they could be watching you too. Moon cycles, Archangel Haniel. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestation and capitalize upon these cycles. Every time the moon phase comes, like for instance, um, I'm really thinking about getting into like reading birth charts, making birth charts, natal charts. I have the skills to do that. But um, right. Mm -hmm. I eat popcorn. Mm -mm -mm. I feel it. Mm -mm. And I got it. Mm. Put it right there. On top of that little piece of paper. But look. Um, what I was going to say. When you was born. Look into your birth chart. Whatever moon phase was going on. When you was born. Whether it be a waxing give its moon. A waning moon. A full moon. Um, what's the crescent moon. Whatever kind of moon phase was happening when you was born. That's when your power. That's when you at your powerful no, that's when you are the most powerful, okay, during the month. You want to do anything, you want to manifest anything, look at your birth chart, find out what fucking moon phase, moon cycle was going on when you was born, and that's when you do your manifestation. Don't just wait for the full moon or the damn new moon. Look up, because particularly, say if you was born on a wax and gibbous moon. Every time the wax is giving moon happen in a month, because we get 13, the 13 moon phases thing a month. 
a month. Am I saying it right? I think a month was a year. No, a month, I believe so, okay? But anyway, it's like whatever moon phase you was born under, every time that happened during the month, or when it have, if it don't happen every month, whenever it does happen, that's when you do your manifestation. That's when you are the most powerful. Because you harness that energy, okay? Because you was born under that particular moon phase, okay? So, it's like maybe this person has been working with the moon cycles against you. Every time the moon come up, they may be a person who is like surface level. They may only work with the full moon and the new moon. They don't work with all the other moons. You... It would be best, whoever I'm talking to, to look at your birth chart, find out. You need your exact time of birth. So I know my exact time of birth. You need to, or look at your birth certificate. You need to find your exact time of birth and look up back at that date and find out what moon phase is going on when you was born. And that's when you are, that's when you are at your most powerful source okay during that moon phase during the month that's when you should manifest that's when you should purchase anything that's when you should sign any contract that's when you should set like important appointments seriously check into it okay so you this person been working like working against you during the moon phases you know you need to start paying attention to when your moon phase come up and do some combative work what i mean by that um if you went to that return to sender um, any type of prayers, um, any type of petitions. You know, some people like to write and burn papers. You know, that's manifestation. Whatever you, whatever you like to do, or you need to get into something, find out when you was born. Look up that moon phase, and every time that moon phase come, do your shit. Come back and thank me later. I bet the kind of money you make shit happen in the most positive, beautiful, and the most miraculous ways. You're welcome. Prioritize Archangel Metatron. Mm big daddy okay focus on your highest priorities i will help you get organized and motivated so you're being or you're getting organized and motivated because you're ready to step into you're about to step into this leadership role if you have for some of y'all you are already in this leadership role rather it look the way you want to say for instance if you do what i do like particularly my channel my vi my videos don't get no lot of views like that but that's not going to stop me from doing my job because if i can reach one it's reach one teach one if I can reach five people, okay, maybe I did my job with that particular message. I don't look at the numbers like that on past it. I just kill him. I keep putting out my messages. And, you know, when it's time to, you know, my success is not tied or in comparison to anybody else on YouTube. My channel may be growing at its way because that's the way the universe wanted to be. I just want to always stress, don't get it misconstrued by how many views you see on a person video or how many followers they have. Because I've saw somebody with 100, 200,000 followers and their video got 6,000 views. So please don't judge people off of this superficial ass bullshit, okay? But I'm just saying. But listen to what your girl said now with that moon face. What time is it? 52, 57. Don't forget about that, okay? Do I got anything on the table else I want to use? Um, oh, hold on. All right. Time frame. How about that? I'm going to get three. Cancer, respect your feelings. Four weeks to four months. Four, four, four. On a Saturday, something could be happening on the go seven. Something could be happening between four weeks to four months on a Saturday. And Pisces, look, Cancer and Pisces came out, Lord. Find your way, oh, excuse me, find your center 12 weeks to 12 months. So within a year, your whole life's going to be different. One, it's almost going too fast, one day to one week. Then I, and this is one, 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 by the way. I told y'all somebody could be coming in towards this day. I said within the next 10 days, somebody could come in. It could be one or seven days. This person going to be approaching you, trying to have some type of communication with you. They think they finna reconcile with you. 12th here with Pisces. This is 12th house. Somebody here is a hidden enemy. Whoever this king of wands is, or whatever that sign is, they could be a fire sign, absolutely, first and foremost, but they could be any sign. Okay? Only fire sign came out to what Sagittarius, by the way. Sagittarius. Uh, depending on what they had on their growth. Okay? Their maturation. <laughs> How they matured. Okay? Because not all of them is bad, but baby, they don't. Mm. 
They don't have patience. I want to tell you one more time. I want to show you this card. Whoever you are, this person, they could be they could be some type of twin flame. They could be some type of spiritual spy. This could be someone who refused to let you be with another person. And I said, you know, earlier, you know, the universe could have let this go on for a while. Maybe you need to learn something. Maybe there was some karmic debt you need to pay back. I know sometimes we question God and be like, why are you going through this? But, you know, I feel like it's better to try to see the lesson in things and see what you're supposed to get from things instead of feeling like, whoa, it's me. Because a lot of things that happen in your life and I have to learn it's the hard way is not happening to you it's happening for you whether it be bad or good trust me down the road you may look back at it and be like oh okay and that's what's going on here as well you could have been with somebody you could have separated you are doing much better in your life than this person is that's first and foremost second of all too they've lost any power they had over you any control whatever foot they had on your neck left or right in the spirit it's not there anymore and you are free you are free because you are some type of guy. You're here to do something for humanity, and this person can no longer block you. So, too bad, so sad. Peace.